you watch more on the Money TV. So you, we are going to play the full detail. Our team are there. So not only our team are there, partner all over the world. Not only partner, those who are under the influence watching Money TV. If you know what they have donated, running to the embassy all over the world, contribute, give them, wow, all over, all over. We have, we have received a lot of email. People donating $100,000, $200,000, give them all over, supporting the embassy. Those who can go there, some trying to go there, but we team, the money team, they are there, you have seen. They have to wait for the big ship. You can see the ship that conveyed them to the city where the thing happened. They went there, a lot happened, they interviewed the mayor of the city. The mayor of that community, the city that the thing happened to is there. They, have, they work together. So this is what Christianity is all about. Only faith places God. And faith is something that can be, that, that has to be practiced. Faith is something that has to be what? That has to be what? I mean, faith can be applied. Can be what? Can be applied. You say, I'm a faith man, I'm a Christian. You keep saying, I'm a Christian. Before you help your brother, you say, are you a Christian? Who are you? I'm a Muslim. No, no, no. That is not faith. That is not faith. Are you, a, are you a member of my church? No, I cannot give you a job. That is not faith. I cannot help you because you are not a Christian. That is not faith. Faith can be applied. If believers cannot commit their bodies to God when they are sick, if Christian cannot trust in God for their material riches, who will believe that they have faith? Are you with me? Tell your neighbor. If a believer, if believers cannot commit their bodies to God when they are sick, if believers cannot trust in God for their material riches, who would believe that they have faith? Who would believe that they have faith? So that is it. What I was saying, you know, this is not the first time during the Haiti we were there. We were there even trying to build the, the, the hospital. And uh, I mean, thousand people were there. Even the Philippines, a lot of people are sending out email. Doctor, nurse, counselor, they want to join us. I say, they should take it, take it, and take it. We just want to spend few, not long time. We just want to be present there and take some support. That's what Christianity is all about. If you say you have faith and you are sick and you cannot commit your body to God, who would believe? that you have faith. You say you are poor. Your business is not moving. And you cannot uh, trust in God for your material issues. Who will believe you have faith? That is it. That is faith. We say we do it. So thank you, Lord. I, they want to, they will have show you more, but because I told you time, look at, I still want to, and I, a lot of people are going to emergency, 
we have many visitors that are going to emergency. And uh, let me back to the what happened you, United Kingdom. When you look at what happened in United Kingdom, you will see even people in United Kingdom could not even have chance to enter the hall. People all over the countries, all over the troops to the to the country, different countries enter the country. Even the surrounding of the city, they were calling them. Where is the brother Ed? Come on, give testimony of what happened to you. They were calling them from the airport. Your visitor, I this, visitor around. Hotel were booked everywhere. The pressure was so mighty. Why? Because it has not been very, very easy to, to get visa in many countries to come to Nigeria. Why many countries give visa? Because they see it as a blessing, as an opportunity to come to this country to see. Because what they are saying, the impression about Nigeria outside this country is very bad. Many countries Many Nigeria, many Nigeria amb ambassador, consular over there, they see it as an opportunity. Are you coming to Nigeria? Okay, please, please come. Come, come, come. Because they want them to come and see what they are saying about all is not all what they are saying are truth. But never, many never see it like that. It has been very difficult for many countries to get visa to my country here. It has been very, very difficult for them. These people, you see them trooping to UK when there is a nothing water, they want to come. Many of them have been applying, applying. Why many countries, many officers, many consular, many ambassadors, when they hear in many countries, when they hear you are coming to Nigeria, they will do everything, they will make sure you come. Why? Because they see it as a blessing. Come to my country and see what they are saying about my country. It's not like that. We are good people. At this time, why should anybody refuse people coming to this country visa? At this time when they were not talking web, so everywhere they believe is uh, attack militant everywhere. People are afraid to come to Nigeria. If somebody now walk to your comes to your to your mission, I'm, I want to come to Nigeria, and you examine him, he's not one of the militant. You examine him, he's not one of the people criminal. Why can't you encourage him to come to Nigeria? When people walk into your mission all over the world, I want to come to Nigeria. You examine this man. It's not this woman is not a militant. It has nothing to do with the military. You realize it. No, you have to do everything, whatever you can do, proper thing, and make sure he come. Because visit Nigeria, going back, you will share that impression that this nation is is not the way some of the powerful new media media outside this country the way they project this country is so bad as if everywhere is attacked is militant yes. you are here for the past many days can't you see how beautiful nigeria are? you move freely everywhere day night can't you see how wonderful this nation why should any mission refuse visa for people to come to Nigeria? Where God's time is the best. It is time now to carry the gospel outside this country. It is time to meet you in your country. Yes, it is time to meet you. That is the sign you are seeing. We, we just try to test our popularity. Our visit is just to, I say, my, my evangelist, let us test our popularity because Jesus said to his disciples, he said, okay, what will people say about me? What are they saying about me? I don't really know what is happening. Oh, and Peter answer. So we are doing this to test ground 
our popularity. Whether if you move outside this country, what kind of caliber people, can't you see different races, different color? They knew I would not be there, and they were there. Once again, I repeat again, it's, it's given me some pain. Why should anyone refuse people from coming to Nigeria? At this time, our name so bad outside the country. Why should? There is no reason. If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. Why should, why should anybody refuse this, sir? Why should? Is that not the only way? Let people come and see and go back. Why should anyone refuse this, sir? When you look at the person, you know this is not a criminal. And you know this is not a criminal. Why should anybody refuse this, sir? I believe that there's, there are good Nigeria. I salute those embassy that making sure people come into this country to see what has happened. Thank you. The only way we can easily get out of this mess, Nigeria, we seems to be a mess. Mess me, when people begin to say all sorts of things, many things they are saying about all are not true. When you go to many countries, they will want you, where, what are you going there to do? They want to speak to us. Many countries, they want to speak to us. Their, their, their security, they want to speak to us. Hey, hello. Oh, is that? We want to speak to the General Basir. Uh, yes, until, um, if I'm not around, they say I'm not around. Sometimes, five days, we want to speak to General Basir. But somebody pick and say, oh, our secretary, General want to come and we want to know where he wants to stay and the security concern as a so our country has become like that. So it's like that. What is happening in this country is just few elements. Few elements. I say I said few elements. Last time I read it in the news, thank you, the War Power America, but I have some reservation concerning putting Nigeria as a, a, a terrorist nation. No, we are not a terrorist nation. I would have loved, oh, please. I would have loved the War Power to come if they want to support us, they should come and support us. They should not put our name. We are not, we are, we are a peaceful nation. We are a nice nation. The people fighting, the people causing this confusion, they are little people. And we, we did know we can handle the matter. Let them come and support Nigeria. Thank you. We love them. World power, America, United States. Good, good, good. Help us. Okay, good. Come, come and support us. But don't put our name as terrorist nation. We, no, 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 we. Nigeria is a peaceful nation. What is happening, we can handle within this eternal issue. It's an eternal issue. It's an eternal issue. We can handle it. And we have been handling it. God is in control. But United Nature, please, your, your help to is can't, but not to put our name as a terrorist nation. This is just my yes, but many in Nigeria they are happy about it, but they don't know the meaning. And you travel outside and outside this country, you will know the meaning of putting your name as a terrorist nation. You will know everybody will be looking at a terrorist. So. Once again, what happened in United Nations, United Kingdom? 70%, if not 80% of people that were there, they were from all over the country, all, all, over, the, all over the world. They came all over, and they took over the hall. 
even people in the United Kingdom, they, they were caught on, by surprise that, ah, because these people have been eager to visit Nigeria for so long, but many of them have been refused visa. I think the, one of the best ways to, to, to showcase, to rebrand, to rebranding this our good name, which enemy try to soil, is to allow people come, give them visa, after examining them, they are not a criminal, give them visa. If, you, if possible, you can do the half payment of the visa, visa base to encourage people coming to this country. Reduce it to half. We should not worry if other countries refuse our visa to come to their country. No. But the period we are, the system we are now, we need people to come here. We need people to come and see, come and see we are good people. So thank you. Nigeria, you support this the opinion. Let us see your hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I once again, like I have said, we are going to leave the issue of Philippines. We show you on Imani TV and uh, the United Kingdom program will continue on Imani TV. Let's begin the, the today job. Today grace. Let's enjoy today grace. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we have many people that are waiting to share their testimony, but because of uh, the issue of uh, other program outside this country, we are trying to show. Let's give me the grace for one. Let's hear just one. The other 500 can still wait because I'm, a, I'm, I'm afraid the emergency department there. Uh, people are too are many. They don't complain of blessings. Blessing of God. Yeah? I say it's a blessing of God. We have almost thousand people that are waiting for prayer line. Thousands. So I'm, and uh, I cannot because of that now ask wise men to come and take over because running for job. Okay, when they were when they were 200, I attend to them. Now they are 1,000. I say wise men come and do it. Uh, that is that could be regarded as a very. Uh -huh. So when people were just 200 in number, well, yeah, last week, last Sunday, 300, I was attending to them. What's happened to this man? No, 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 no. In tricks, tactics of enemy. Don't listen to these people. When they know that you, you have not seen, by the time we start the prophetic service, and when the thing is hit, and you, you, you are, you are, you are connected. That is when you hear your neighbor will say, Man of God, help me. Man of God, help me. Man of God, help me. Because they want to cause your detraction. They want you to look other side. They don't want you to look straight. They want to cause you, you know what it means. Okay, if care is not taken, you even abandon your faith and begin to say, Man of God, help him. Man of God, help him. Man of God, help me. Man of God, help him. Look at him. Good Samaritan. Are you with me? Yeah. You have not seen. You have not seen. It, 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 well, that one, I think he did it in a wrong time. That, it's not clever enough. Tell him he's not smart enough. <laughs> say, say he's not a smart guy. <laughs> Assume he's smart. He's not, it's not the right time to do it. <laughs> it's not the right time to do. Man of God, help me. Because right now, man of God, help me. There is nothing help around. We are only talking of Philippines and the uh, UK. What kind of help are you need? You want to go to UK? Ask him. Are you going to you want to go to UK? <laughs> or you want to join our team in Philippines? I don't know the kind of help you need now. The guy is not smart. <laughs> Next time, you will wait. When man of God will begin to say yes, yes, so, so, so this is what is going to happen to you. People begin to say, ha, ah, how does he know this? How does he know this? Man of God, help me! <laughs> <laughs> huh? That is when the guy will have 
child. I think Satan is a liar. Yeah, that is it. I, I want to believe that that man is, he did it on his own. It's never Satan that sent him. Because Satan is very clever. Huh? He will not do it in a wrong time. He will do it at a time he know he can cost you something. He did it on his own. Forgive the man. Let him come back. <laughs> let him come back. Please, Ocha, go and carry him. Go and carry him. Oh, yeah, take outside. Take outside. Take outside. Go and bring him. If you don't bring him, I will not talk. Please, we better run there. I will not talk. Oh. I go there. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Now I've seen you, I can talk now. Kiss me, kiss me, give me a kiss. <laughs> come, come. Can you give me a seat there? Let me sit there. Oh, yeah, go and sit down. I'll see you. Give me a seat and give me a beautiful fan. If you lie, you may try what you try and see what will happen. <laughs> Just try what this man try and see what will happen to you. Security, they will carry you outside. And you... Okay, I will not say about that. I will leave you. Wow. So thank you. Please take your. You you don't know what what it means to to be humiliated. It's not only one man, oh. <laughs> that that boy sound like a demon. You should not carry your camera there. We don't want to recognize them on here. <laughs> don't carry any camera. Don't even listen. Uh -huh. You use your mouth. Use your hand to cover his mouth. If somebody sound like demon, you use your mouth, your hand to do what? To cover his mouth. <laughs> so thank you. Let's listen to it. Thank you. Les attendants ont besoin de passer à la section des témoignages. On va écouter un premier cas. Regardez votre écran pour voir la vidéo. Je pense que nous avons un témoin pour savoir une vidéo. Je pense que nous avons le dernier Thursday et le dernier Sunday. Il y a beaucoup de choses qui se passent. Nous n'avons pas écouté leur témoin. Il y a seulement un. Il y a seulement un. Après un, nous voyons ce que Dieu a fait pour nous. Il y a seulement un après 500. Comme je vous l'ai dit, nous devons être très, très attentifs. You know, anything close to Jesus receive attack. Tell your neighbor. Look, if you are far like this, your attacker will be far. If you are close like this, your attacker will be close. If you are very, very close like this, 
your attacker will be very, very close. Tell your neighbor, if you are far like this, your attacker will be far. But get it close like this, hmm, your attacker will be very close. Anything close to Jesus receives attack. You, you never ask yourself, why are you being attacked? If you are one of them, who will attack you? So, as you are here now, not only you that have been, but even me, they will not want me to talk to you. In the process of talking to you, trying to get you out of this mess, someone can be used around you to chat. Man, go help me. Man, go help me. To cause distraction so that I will listen. When I listen, it's not possible for me to attend to you and attend to him. I mean, from that process, I bother you. Please. The tactic and strategy of Satan, you should know. Thank you. Yes, let's listen to just one. Let, okay, before and after. 42-year-old Mr. Ramani from Ogun State has come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with a problem of hearing loss and is using a hearing aid. He is also booked for operation. This is the medical report from an ear specialist that has diagnosed him with bilateral conductive hearing loss, that is hearing loss of both ears, and recommends him to undergo an operation in the United States. As the camera zooms into his left ear, we take a closer look at the hearing aid given to him because of the severity of his hearing loss. He has come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations believing that Jesus Christ will heal him so that he can hear normally again. My name is Ramoni Okewa. I'm in Nigeria from Ogo State. I have severe hearing loss and I'm using a hearing aid, yes. How many years have you been suffering with this problem, sir? About 12 years now. Can you tell us how does it affect you? I can't hear unless I use the hearing aid. I've been to many hospitals. They continue to diagnose the hearing loss as severe. So at the end of the day, when I was uh, built to do a surgery in the United States, that's uh, in Atlanta, I paid for the surgery. But later on, I decided not to go ahead with the surgery because I believe God can heal me. They call it bilateral, that is in both ears. I have hearing loss in both ears, so I used two hearing aids on both ears. But I lost one long time ago, and I now use only one in my left ear. And I decided not to get another one because I'm here right now because I believe God can heal me. Yes. Okay, sir. So you mean, sir, that without this hearing aid, you're not able to hear me or people around you? Yes, I cannot hear you without the hearing aid. Yes. Mr. Ramoni cannot hear at all without the use of the hearing aid. He brings out the hearing aid to prove the severity of this problem, that he is not able to hear at all without the hearing aid. Can you tell me your name? So, sir, do you mean as you're here now, you're not hearing what I'm saying? I think we have proved that uh, our brother indeed cannot hear without this hearing aid that he is using. Now we're going to ask him to put the hearing aid back inside. And now you're here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. What do you believe God Almighty will do for you? I believe Almighty God will heal me. Amen. We believe and pray with you that God Almighty will heal you and set you free from this problem of hearing loss and using a hearing aid in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Samodu Adedayo. I'm from Undo State. Thank you, sir. And who is the gentleman sitting next to you? To you? He's the managing director of the company where I work. Ever since I've been working in his company, he, he doesn't work without the hearing aid in the office. He has to use the hearing aid always to talk in the office, even to, to discuss business and the likes. It has really affected him a lot. I believe God is going to restore his hearing. Amen. We believe with you that God Almighty will restore our brother's hearing in the name of Jesus Christ. When Prophet T.B. Joshua prays for him today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Joshua moves along the prayer line, ministering spirit-filled prayer to the people who have come to the synagogue church of all nations from countries all over the world. As he ministers to them, the real, authentic, and forceful power of God is at work, breaking every chain in Jesus' name. The Holy Spirit is producing rivers of life, flowing from his spirit to meet the needs of others. Let's watch Mr. Ramani's encounter with Prophet T.B. Joshua at the prayer line. My boss can't stay without the hearing aid for 12 years. He has gone to Europe and America for medical care. He has also books for operation in the United States. Okay, he has been on this for 12 years. He's the CEO no, of the son. company where I work. He cannot hear. Yes, sir. Come on. Look here, look here. Remove it, remove it. To God be the glory, Mr. Ramoni is healed. The hearing aid is out, and he can now hear without the use of the hearing aid. My name is Ramoni Okeru. I came here with severe hearing loss for the past 12 years. I had a terrible accident that affected my two ears. This bilateral hearing loss, that is, both ears were affected. Severe hearing loss. And tell us, where have you been in search of solution to this problem? I've been to many hospitals. I was even billed to do an operation in United States, Atlanta. I paid for the operations. I decided I need to seek God because I believe God can heal me. And that's why I came here today. And tell us what happened to you while the man of God was praying for you right there at the prayer line section of the synagogue church. I received healing immediately and I could hear and I thank God for it. I thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Before now, brother, you couldn't hear people. You only hear through this hearing head. Can you hear people right now talking? I can hear everybody loud and clear without the hearing head. Without the hearing head. Without the hearing head. I can hear. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Nous allons voir la vidéo de cet homme qui est venu à la synagogue des autres nations avec la perte de l'écoute, mais ne pouvait pas entendre son appareil auditif. Il a reçu la prière de l'homme de Dieu. The, the, the level at level you believe, at level you receive. You know, I have said this. Faith is something that has to be war. That has to be war. That has to be practiced. Faith can be applied. If you say you are a Christian and you are sick and you cannot commit your body to God, who would believe that you have it? Sometimes when I touch you, because I know you don't have faith, you don't believe that I touch you, I don't need to touch you. Because for the past two months now, God has given me more light. And it can be dangerous to you if I touch you. It can be dangerous to you. It can do, can touch you. A candlelight can touch you. Even your body can quench the candlelight. But it is not candlelight. So you see people falling. I can't do what say, what is falling you? Sometimes when I feel that ah, this is ten people and uh, I need to move forward. It's bridge. That will tell you the reason why people fall falling. When ten people are on the queue and I want to move faster. I just need to breathe. And the moment that breathe moves to your session and you, and you hear it, you fall down. <laughs> Once again, when 20 people on the queue, and I look at the queue, this is what 20 people, and I need to move quick. All, all I need to do, I just need to breathe. That breathing when you inhale it, 
immediately you, you perceive it, it enters you, you may not know, it's just on the air, it goes with the air. And immediately it gets to you, that my breathing, and you hear it, you can't hold yourself. Whatever infirmity, poverty, whatever hardship inside you, is what that you hear, that breath is working with. So that's it. So for the past three, three months now, it has been a gift from God. But just breathe, and a hundred people can fall down. You don't necessarily need to fall, but you inhale it, whatever inside you, you may not be able to control yourself, it will go like that. It's, so that is the stuff, that is the level the Lord wants me, want to use the wise men, that level they are going now. That's why you are not saying, that's, that's why you have not seen them at emergency. You have not seen them at emergency. They will not come there until they get to that level. When you see them tomorrow there, you know that, that is the level they are operating. So, see, so that is it. So because it's not normal, how can I be moving like that and people fall? You should ask yourself. It is not my image. It is not my shadow. And my shadow cannot just fall on everyone. Sometimes there is no way I will say, I can't set my shadow on you. My shadow can go any direction the shadow wants to go. We don't have control over our shadow. We don't have control over our shadow. As long as we have control over our shadow, we can begin to control our shadow. If I begin to control my shadow, how many people will, will the shadow fall on? The shadow of Peter only fell on when he was passing by. He never knew that shadow would do that. But it is breed, breeding. When you just see me, when I just do like this, it come, when I just move in your midst like this, and just move in your midst, just moving around and breathe around you and come out. That breeding, it will move around and move around and you hear it. It's anti, it fights sickness, it fights disease, it fights poverty, it fights limitation, it fights, fights. That's it. There's nothing we can do about it. So that's why many say, ah, it doesn't, it will not call the name, it's just more people falling. No, it's pretty. It's pretty. That's why when, when you see me moving like that, you hear, hear me in the mind. I, I have to off my mind. If I'm not off my mind, you hear breathing. <laughs> this one is moving. This one is moving. That's it. Let's hear from Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God is with us. My name is my name is Ramoni Prince Ramoni Okewo. I'm an engineer by profession. I'm the CEO. I'm the CEO of a group of companies based in United States, United Kingdom, and Nigeria. Okay. Okay. Uh, the problem that brought me to synagogue of all nations is what we call by medically bilateral profound early loss, which the ordinary person would be called deafness. Can you give the, mic, give the mic my, to my brother? It's not someone you can hold my mic for. Uh, you, can, you can listen, you can see the vibration. Give the mic and leave the place. Uh -huh. I've been Thank suffering you. from this, from this uh, problem for the past 12 years. I had an accident 12 years ago, and, okay, I had an accident 12 years ago, and I did not even quickly notice I had a hearing loss until people started talking to me and they would say hey, I would say B. You know, I started wondering what is happening. Then my employer, who happened to be a major, a major high company in Nigeria, took me around to many hospitals, consultants, and the rest like that. I had a a surgery at the University of Benin some years back, but it didn't improve 
my hearing at all. Then I was built to do an operation outside the country again. Then one of the doctors said, it is dangerous, why not do, why not continue to use a, a hearing aid? And that's how I started using hearing aid. And it's only help. I was only trying to get by. And um, along the line, I, I consulted other doctors on my own because I had to leave that job when my hearing did not improve. I had to leave. And it was a very lucrative job where you are working with another company, you should know. So I had to leave and I started my own company. So I had to make people, I have to make people represent me in most, most of my meetings and the rest like that. And I started seeking help again. I went to the United States where I have companies there and eventually one of the doctors billed me to do an operation and I paid for the operations and the rest. I came to Nigeria, my manager here, and sorry if I had to digress, my manager here now said I should come to synagogue, church of all nations, that we are going to get solution. I came one time and I was um, in one of the prayer land one Thursday. I have to mention this because I'll be an English if I don't mention. I was there, one of the people who owe me three million naira just called me and said, send me your account. I've been chasing this man for two years. He owed me like three years back and I've been chasing like two years. He didn't pay me. I was in that prayer, in that overflow. And the man called me and said, send your account number. And he started paying. He has paid everything now coming to praise the lord you listen to what he's saying the same church you me i don't know anything can you see the same church people call him to send to the what to the million to come and receive healing can you okay let's hear uh huh. Okay. Okay. So I was in that upper blue when this man called me and asked for my account number. Yeah. And eventually, before I left that upper blue, money was in my account. And I called yeah. my manager and said, The see money was given to him. See what happened though? The man has paid. The man we have been chasing, we really want to go and report at EFCC. He has paid. And now I was to travel back to the United States. My manager now said, let's go back to Synagogue Church of All Nations. So me, you have been here before? Yes, yes, yes. And so, you were sitting outside? Yes, I was on, sitting under outside. Under the canopy? Outside. Yes, okay. on a Thursday. Then he said, let's go back to Synagogue of All Nations before you go back to the United States. I was going to go last week. I decided to delay it next week. Let's go back, let's go back. And I said, okay. Fortunately, I was opportune to be on the prayer line. And the man of God was the one ministering. I, they already, I have the prayer card saying, I have hearing loss and I use hearing aid. And who we'll hear you without the hearing aid? So, I, along the line, the man of God came to me and church my ears. I felt this sensation like it in my hearing. I knew something was going on there. I just, I was, I closed my eyes. I, was, I, I knew something was going on. Later on, I just heard some noise. Then I heard somebody saying, what's your name? What's your name? And I said, Ramoni. I received my healing that day. I thank God. I thank Jesus. I thank man of God for using him to heal me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. You listen to that. For you to know that I'm not the healer. He said, after a touch, he heard a noise. Say, what is your name? Me, that voice is not a, a, I mean, people of this world. The voice is from immaterial world. Ah, okay, is it, is it, is it, look, it's not normal for just a man 
the human made to just touch your ear. You have been taking this problem all everywhere. And you started here. It's not normal. That can never happen by, by man, but by God. So, uh, well, this is just, uh, this happened last Thursday here. Today, last Thursday, how many days now? Huh? Three days. Now we are going there, we are going back there today. If such a family like this could be destroyed within a second, what a poverty. Said by. Can you imagine? Why you even say you have cancer? If you don't tell people you have cancer, nobody will know. But this is a sickness that you don't need to tell the people. When you talk to you, you cannot hear, but you can see. So in me, Jesus has power over all situations. Whatever situation you are in, if I were you, I would be thanking God now. Because your case is settled. So let's hear the advice from our father here before I show you the vision I have for you. So, uh, uh, as you can see, I can hear with my two ears. I can hear very well. So my advice to people out there, don't let your suffering weigh you down. Mm. You can receive healing. Just go to the right place. Move closer to God. And have faith. Because without faith, man of God said one of his teachings, he said, you have, you have a step to healing. One step to healing. And that step is faith. I watched that video. And please, have faith in whatever you do and you will receive healing by the grace of God. In Jesus' name. So you have, you have heard him. Simple. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I think I want to appeal to thousands of people that are waiting to share their testimony. Because, like I told you, the crowd that are waiting at emergency, uh, I don't know. So since I'm going to be the one to attend to you, just only me. The wise men will still hold on, like I told you. So we are, we are expecting thousands of people. Last Sunday, last Sunday was 300. Today, you see thousands of people. And, uh, so please, I want to appeal to them. After the service, I will take my time to listen to them and bless them more. Hallelujah. Yes, I, I was just on the seat. That was yesterday. It's for the past uh, two, two weeks now, we have been thinking, I've been asking God, this sticker we are having. This sticker we are having. This is the coming new year. We are, we are about to enter new year. How do we go about it? What is going to happen next? I keep asking God for the past one month. I was on the sea, just sitting down, and the vision just come to me, and I saw the heart of Jesus. Hello, listen to me. And I saw the, the tongue, that is the crown, the tongue on the heart. And I know, instead of that love, they remove the word love. And they say, let that heart, which stands for love, lead you. So please put it on the screen. This is what I said. Remove it, remove it. Remove it on the screen. So this is what is coming out for you. Your house, your business, your home, your everything. Your business, your home, your everything. Yes. The Lord said to me, I said, what is this? I now call my children and say, what is this? So that heart was showing me with the crown, with the tongue surrounded. And I see, saw the blood gushing. The Lord said, yes. And the sticker now come. Instead of love, they remove the love. That is what was put in there. That this is 
for your people. Any home, you place it. Any car, you place it. If you have it with you, So immediately, we have sent it outside the country for a touch. And after that touch, place it just the returning. I will see, present it to Jesus. My Lord, I hope I have not uttered anything from this way again. So you must have it. And this is, it is not just carry paper. Because the one in the past, I see it's I mean, I, you need something. When you are going, you know. That is, I told about faith builder. Huh? It's coming. It's replacing... What do you call it? Wristband. Wristband. You have it in gold, silver, just mention. And uh, I'm writing a book about it. You know, I told you, use your faith to put a demand. Yes, it is time to build your faith. As you are sitting down now, you are, you are just sitting down looking at me. You need something on the outside too. To be busy with. To deal with ungodly thoughts the ungodly or what is going on. Will my problem be solved today? I have been in this trouble for long. How would this problem be solved? Would this man or God attend to me? Would this man touch me? Would this man prophesy to me? They, those were are ungodly. It's mere doubt. You need something to deal with that ungodly thought. You need something to deal with it. You will remove it from your waist, your hand, and start counting your faith. Yeah. You, while you are sitting down, you begin to count your wall, your faith. When you are inside the vehicle, you continue to count your faith. Inside the plane, you count your faith. Are you talking of when you sit down watching a program or watching football or watching tele your television? You will not just watch, you, you can continue to count your faith. There will be no room for Satan to disturb your heart. <laughs> and when you are going, you, you put it back to your, your hand again. As your rich wash. It, it's not something you put place in your pocket. It will be in your hand. Because sizes, sizes, we have sent it outside the country for... It will replace those jewelry you are carrying. The jewelry in your hand, goldy jewelry and what all sort of jewelry you have. There's nothing bad about it. But you have it as your jewelry in your hand, not even your neck. It will be in your hand. When you move, you remove it, you count your faith. Because faith counts. You can begin to count your faith. When even people talk to you, you may not attend to them. You'll be very busy with your faith. You will not know when, when, when you are talking to Jesus, because this Jesus, you are pregnant of him. Amen. Imagine you are inside the vehicle, and the vehicle is about to somersault. Instead of you to tell Jesus, because you are not pregnant of Jesus, you begin to say, hey, 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 because you are not pregnant of Jesus, you are pregnant of hey, hey, hey. It is what you pregnant of, you speak. Out of abandon of war. Mouth war. You flush out all this on God later. Fleshly loss. You flush it out by counting your war. Your faith. It is not something in your pocket or something in your neck. If you put it in your waist, beautiful. You have gold in of it. See, Balfi, just mention. We are going to have it. 
by December 15 it will come. I'll show you. So when you are going with your rich watch, it, your rich watch will be in your hand. That's gold in one. You place it. Nobody will even know. Is it gold? Is it, your, is it jewelry or what? Because it's beautiful. But you can just remove it in your hand and start with your sword. And start counting your faith. Counting your faith. Like you are sitting down inside the church washing me. It's not just enough to be looking at me. It must be in your hand. What are you saying? Every ungodly thought be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. That will be your meditation with your... Every ungodly thought be broken in the name of Jesus. Every ungodly thought be broken in the name of Jesus. Every... That is what you continue to busy with. Busy with. Busy with. Busy with. Busy with. When something cross your mind or cross your mind, say, Jesus! Because you are pregnant of Jesus. Amen. It's difficult for you to charge Jesus at the time you, you, you are in need. Many die just like that. In the dream, they can't charge Jesus. You lie, you don't need altar once you have this build, faith builder. You don't need to go to the altar in the past and say, uh, I mean, pray, pray um, should, uh, prayer. Prayer should. No, you don't need it. Because when I was asking God, God was saying this. When I say, God, this is what's happened. God said, hold on. Another revelation. God said, you don't even need the altar. Your heart is your altar. Amen. When you have faith, you can stand anywhere and be undermined. When you have faith, you can, anywhere you are, is the best place to pray. Tell your neighbor, if I have faith, Amen. anywhere Amen. can be the best place Amen. to witness to pray anywhere. Amen. Yes, that faith you need. Like uh, you are sleeping, you lie on the bed, and you, you know, it's not easy for you to just lie on the bed and start sleeping. While you lie on your bed, you have your faith builder. Begin to count your faith, count your faith, until finally you are, and the thing will fall on your bed or on the ground. It's better. The journey is fine. When you wake up in the night, whether you need to go to restroom, midnight you want to go to restroom, first you remember your faith builder. You pick it on the floor or on your bed. You, you begin to count your faith, count your faith, count your faith. There's no time for you to waste. Because the Bible says a breaking faith is breaking God. You have been breaking faith. Break faith. Faith break. Breaker. It has been like that all the time. You break, 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 break. You are not connected. And you are all about your faith. You are supposed to live by faith, smile by faith, sit by faith, look by faith, have by faith, break by faith. But your case is not like that. You only apply faith when you are in need, which is wrong. You don't know how much you need God, how much you need faith. How much you need God is how much you need faith. When there is no break in faith, there is no break in God. A break in faith is break in God. As you are sitting down, you should be connected straight. Because it's not easy for many of you to connect with that. So that is it. It is that word of God you have. So you should be fire. Fire. Who, who, who burn the arm robber or eye assassin? Somebody come to your home with gun. To come and attack you, to come and rob you. Carry gun to your house to come and rob you. And somebody knock on your door. When you have a builder, you know when you are sitting down watching your television, you have this thing in your hand. Can't see your face. And somebody just knock on your door. You, you, you speed more. You begin to speed more. Whether it's your friend that knock on your door, or your husband knock on your door, or your wife knock on your door, anybody that knock on your door in your night, you have to be ready. You have to speed more. Speed more with your faith. Speed more with your faith. Count your faith. I'm not putting on there. Who's there? I begin to fast more. You see what's happening. But the challenge we have today is that it is when they knock on our door, we start praying. So it is difficult to connect. 
When they knock on your door, boo, 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 boo. Hey, Imane. Hey, what you did? Imane. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come and open the door. In the name of Jesus. Father, send them back. For the Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost. Where will you get Father? When you are not, where, where you are not in the Father before they come. <laughs> Already you are not in the Father before these people come. And they are just come now. They just arrived now. You want to connect to Father. Before you get connected to Father, they will kill you. They will rob you. Molest you. After the film, molest you. Hey, man, uh, hey. <laughs> I serve you. Why all this thing happen to me? And you don't know that you are the one doing yourself. Let me tell you the secret. When you are connected, before these people come, they can't get you. You command them. But when they were just at the moment, at the, at the point they are knocking on your door, boop, 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 and you know them. When, they, when it is still knocking, you know. Because you, you, have, you know how they knock. They knock abnormal. Immediately, boop, 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 you say, oh, in the name of this Holy Ghost, fire. I say, come and open the door. Holy Ghost, fire. You now begin to say, before you open the door, they, they have to break your door. And immediately the door is broken, you begin to look for a place to hide. And immediately the door is broken, you know that that prayer is not answered, you will not pray again. <laughs> you know that prayer is not working. If the prayer works, you will stop them from breaking my door. Now they have broken my door. No, 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 no. I have to look for another God. <laughs> Now you have to hide now and begin to say, Oluwa, is that the way I will die now? <laughs> <laughs> is that the way you will just kill me now? Is that the way? Eh? And I have children though. <laughs> and the children they are very small. <sighs> is that the now they will be fatherless? The children will not say, Mommy, where are you going? Mommy, Daddy, where are you going? Can you ask me? Ah, leave me, leave me, leave me. Because when you sit there, you forget mommy. Mommy forget daddy. And the children forget their dad. Dead. So that is it. So take me once again. If you have connected before attack, they can't get you. They, they get you because you have not connected. It is when you hear the attack voice, you begin to connect yourself. You can't get connected. Because God will know that this is selfish reason. It's not a, for relationship. It, 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 it's not for what? And a relationship can to God. A relationship can to God. When, when I connect with this thing, and something is now coming now, to want to take me out of this thing. This thing will not allow me to go. You will know that, yes, I have built the relationship already. But already, I'm not connected with him. I'm on my own. But something is coming out to take me. I don't want to do I want to run to this man to, to rescue me. No, you know that it's not for relationship, it's for mere rescue. After feeling rescue you, you disconnect yourself. If I'm talking to you, let us see your hand. Are, are, are you clear with me? I'm a simple, good, simple example. God, relationship matter. Relationship with Him, whatever I give it to you, miracle, healing, deliverance, blessing, whatever you receive from Him, it's all about what relationship. And relationship is all the time. But if you have that relationship with him and you are with him, you connected with him, if the whole world is coming to take you from him, he will not allow you. He will fight for you. He will stand for you. He will be on your side. That is God. But the situation we find ourselves today, and to connect with God, to have the relationship with God, faith. 
A break in faith is break in God. Break in relationship with God. And now, you are not with him. You are on your own. It is when you are in need, you run to him. He knows that uh, for miracle, for miracle, for miracle, you run to him for miracle. And he wants you to, he wants relationship. But you are on your own. You always run to him for miracle. And now these people come. They want to kill you. They want to rob you. They knock on your door. Yeah. Hey, God, God, before you get connected to him, these people get you. They will get you. So in order to be connected with God all the time, relationship with him all the time, you need faith builder. Faith builder will not allow you to break your relationship. You cannot, because that is why we, we allow it to be raised by. It will be. It will be on your hand all the time, like your golden rich wash. You know how you dare your rich wash all the time. It will be on your hand. You can remove it and count your faith. And it will be in that book. How to count your faith? What What do I mean by counting your faith? It will be in that book. What the purpose of that is? It will be in your book. So by the time you have this for one more, two more, little thing, Jesus, and you hear the boy, you hear, you, 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 you feel it. In your dream, people come to attack you. Jesus, you see the mighty hand. Nothing like ungodly thoughts. Your heart will be free because something is always with you to destroy ungodly thoughts. So that is the purpose of, I mean, faith builder. And it will be out by 15 December. Yes. So, with couple with this one, I will not say much about this sticker. Like I said, vision I saw. The heart. It work with your heart. This one. It work with what? It work where faith lives. This sticker will work with your heart. Couple with the faith builder. Your heart will not go the other way. This heart is heart. It will work with your heart. With faith builder, your heart. Faith is of my heart. Okay? And faith builder. With this and faith, they work together. So to arrest your heart for God. That is the purpose. Thank you. Hallelujah. So like the just 10 minutes I used to explain the two things, I think uh, you really know that God is really concerned about you. I say God is concerned about you. Amen. Because uh, yes, I as a, as a person, I know where our trouble lies. When it comes to Christianity, it is true everybody, we all confess we are Christian. How many of us are real Christian? So, Christianity lies in the heart. But our heart is far from God. So, that is why we want to, God wants to work, your, work on your heart. With this sticker and the faith builder, there's no you can't drop it at home unless you are not interested. It's with you. Before given to you, it will be blessed. And once it's blessed and given to you, you become a companion. Even people will say, ah, all the time they say this is yes. All the time they say this is yes. All the time this thing, yes. If you don't find this in your hand, you can't move, you will not want to go out. If you move, you want to say, ah, it's my hand. When you sit inside the vehicle, it's with you. Inside the chair, inside the plane, aeroplane. So it will become your companion. Very tight one. Once you get it and become your companion, well, what else again? You can say to that tree, be wither. 
I'm so shabby. Rest of, rest of, rest of, rest of. So then you can now use your faith to put a demand. Because you just need the measure of faith to ask God, give me this, give me that. God loves you. Wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand. Say thank you, Lord. So our prayer now is that the God has said it. We can't wait to receive this. Put it in prayer. Say, I can't wait to receive this blessing. Mm, I can't wait to receive my blessing. So it's a blessing God wants to release. Mm, so I can't wait to receive it. Give time to him, give time to him. I can't wait to receive this blessing. I want to have my faith calm. I want to have my faith builder. I want to calm my faith anywhere I am. Anywhere. 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 I want to count my faith. I want to count my faith. Count your blessing. May the world.